Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you OEE monitoring system using multi devices. Before started, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay. Thank you. Please watch till the end. Let's get started. In this simulation, I will simulate four machines. This is the information line group is line 01, and machines group is grooving process. This is machine number one, and machine number two. And, this is machine number three, and machine number four. Each machine operated by one operator, so we have four machines, and four operators. This is simulation board, represent the machine status. There are four buttons in each machine as relay simulation, for getting machine status, start, stop or downtime, output counter, and defect counter. For machine number one, we use PLC Siemens S7-1200 as IoT device, all input connected to the PLC. For machine number two, we use Compute Module 4 from Raspberry Pi as IoT device. For machine number 3, we use Raspberry Pi version 4 as IoT device. And, for machine number 4, we use ESP8266 as IoT device, using MQTT communication to node red, and database. Now, we will run test on machine number 1. The PLC is connected to the network using an Ethernet cable. There are tower lamp, and LED matrix as machine status visualization. You can view the node red dashboard on monitor. This is simulation for machine number 2 using Compute Module 4, the Compute Module connected to database using Ethernet cable. Compute Module queries to database using Python. And, this is simulation for machine number 3 using Raspberry Pi 4, it connected to database using Ethernet cable. Same with Compute Module 4, 
it queries to database using Python. For machine number 4, we use ESP device and micro buttons as relay simulation. The ESP device connected to internet using Wi-Fi. We need a MQTT broker as communication to node red, and database. This is full node red dashboard, and we also use Grafana as alternative dashboard. There are some pages to show real-time individual machine status or machine group. And also page to view OEE report. Please watch the video till the end, to find out the dashboard as a whole. If you are interested with this concept, please send me your inquiry. I provide guidance to build this low-cost OEE monitoring system. You will get step-by-step -step guidance documents, and all codes and required files including Python code, Node-RED code, Grafana code, and VBA macro Excel for database configuration. In this page, we can view Grafana link, and real-time OEE value for each machine, and also OEE combination. This is OEE combination dashboard with dark mode. Next page is dashboard animation. In this page, we can view machine individual real-time OEE monitoring system. There is a SVG image as machine status visualization. Then, input page. In this page we can input operator name to change the operator, input type product to change the running product, and input stop category when downtime occurs. Input defect page. In this page, we can input defect manually. Some condition, we cannot detect defect automatically, so we must input quantity of defect manually on this page. Trouble record page. In this page, we can view all trouble or downtime list which occurs to a machine in the specific date. Also, we can input additional information related to downtime such as the problem detail information, identification of the problem, actions that have been taken in dealing with the downtime that occurred, and note to put another information. All information will be recorded on database.
The next pages is OEE record. We can view the OEE record for each individual machine, or based on machines group. The report generated based on a specific date, or with range of date. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, and subscribe. See you on my next video.